back with another banger for you guys today and as you can see by the title we have a new mr beast video this one is called seven days stranded on an island it dropped a couple days ago i actually meant to already react to this but i have not gotten a chance to so we are doing so today as always mr beast content is absolutely amazing and before we dive into this if you guys would like to follow me on my gaming channel you know what to do link in the description the first one down there we are posting a video over there later on tonight after this so i will greatly appreciate the support also make sure you guys are subscribed to this channel with notifications turned on of course so you do not miss any of the uploads baby and let's dive right into this mr beast stranded on an island for we are now days. stranded on this deserted island in the middle of the ocean and we're gonna be stranded that wouldn't here be for so the bad though seven you know what I mean? and that boat that just left was BG our only vibes. way out of here why do we keep doing this I thought it'd be fun. Despite its beauty, civilization has not been able to survive on this no island power for over on 250 island, no years. But for the next seven days, we're gonna try to. And we only have around four hours until it gets dark. It's hot out here. We need to build a shelter immediately. I mean, why don't we just camp here? This spot looks pretty good. So, I say we kick things off by us going and looking for wood, and you two... We'll prep camp. Yes. Have hey, low-key, 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 I would, uh... I, I don't know if I can be able to deal with the bugs and stuff. How do we prep camp? No, I don't know. And so we immediately got to work. But we had to be careful because above you is the most dangerous tree on earth. It contains poisonous tree sap that could literally kill you. Wait, why are we still standing here? And meanwhile, Nolan and Mac were making a fire pit. I'd say it's a pretty good fire, would you say? Well, it's not a fire yet. Well, I'd say it's a pretty good fireplace. And Sean started constructing the frame for our shelter. Are you sure that's not going to fall on us? Yep. I feel like Sean's like our survival dad. It's been called worse. And while gathering some more materials, we came across some wildlife on the island. Oh, look at these chickens over here. We go with the wildlife. Hey, wait, stop running away. And hey, I swear, this is the most random place that you would see chickens. Why are chickens in the middle in an island in the middle of the ocean? Can somebody please explain that to me? Why are there chickens? Like there has to be people living here, or they had to place them there. It wasn't long no until I found out why chicken the chickens were be afraid in the middle of, us. of the ocean. Hey, what are we doing over here? Ah! Uh, Wait, what is that? Uh, oh, it's a knife. Were yeah. you gonna try to kill one of those chickens? Please let me eat a chicken. We don't kill chickens. Jimmy, what did you eat for dinner before you got here? Don't ask. <laughs> we spent the rest of day one preparing our camp, which I mean, was pretty bro, simple. Hey, I'm gonna show you guys that, the camp. You know, this different. is the fire, and where we're gonna make food. Come over here. And this is where we sleep. That concludes the tour. We pulled over our survival Sleeping crate, which contains food, crazy. water, and most importantly, a flare in case someone gets hurt. And by the time the sun went down, we had everything figured out, except one thing. Wait, hold up. Isn't sunscreen flammable? <laughs> it's the end of day oh, wow. one, and I'm already starting to get a little sunburn. <laughs> I'm hoping to get some good sleep tonight. And I hope it doesn't <laughs> rain. Tomorrow, we need to build a bigger shelter. And by we, I mean dad over there is going to build a bigger shelter. I got I you. Got Oh. 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 Jimmy, you're like mom. Sean's dad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to go to bed. I'll see you on day two. Mr. Beast trying to During go During the first to go night of sleep, he we tossed and turned a like, lot. Yeah, yeah, I'm your dad. And by we, I mean me. So it was a good thing we were fixing this the next day. The objective for day two is simple. We need to build a bigger and rainproof shelter. We need more comfortable seats because my butt hurts. And we need a better fire pit. My butt also hurts. Hey, yo. We're looking for very long, sturdy sticks we can put across the they top of our Mario shelter. Kart music that way, in the when background. it rains, instead of da, 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 it drooping da, da, da. in the leaves and tarp, it flows off That's the back. The and while we right were now, busy Mario gathering Kart. resources <laughs> for our new shelter, Mac and I'm Nolan were busy <laughs> looking for new seats. Do you see that? Yeah. What's that orange thing? I mean, you can use it as like a bouncy seat. Dude, is, is a buoy? Fish? Oh, dude, there's oh, a net. Okay. We can use the net to catch chickens. No! Oh, a lot of bugs! A lot yeah, of bugs! Exactly. That would be me, like, literally, bro. I can't do bugs, bro. It's like a bouncy seat. Did you steal this? No. It Did he steal it? It washed up on a beach. I guess that's not stealing. Oh, that is nice. Okay, I'll take it. I know the rest of the day, Chandler, Sean, and I finished upgrading here. the shelter. Keep going, keep going. There's still sun in here, but it's because the sun's super low. 90% of the time, this will be shade now. While Mac and Nolan got coconuts. All right, be careful. It's a big knife. Coconut! <laughs> good. And of course, tried to catch chickens. Hey, chickens! Run! Run! Run away! What are you doing? All right, I saved them. Day two is coming to an end. That part. How would you say it was? I'm tired, but I'm doing good. Nolan? Fantastic. I think we can all agree we are doing way better than we thought we would. But little did I know, later that night, things were about to get a whole lot worse. But for now, 
If you're wondering why we're in the ocean, look at Chandler. Are they swimming in boxers? Because this is the only way for us to shower. We need our other water for cooking and, you know, not dying of dehydration. You want to know what I noticed, boys? What's that? We had 10 cartons of water, and now we're down to six. It's day two. I know. I'm going to be the adult here and just say it. Everyone needs to be more responsible with their water consumption. I agree. Wait, what are we agreeing to? Sean, I agreed for you. Uh, okay, perfect. It's also dark. We need to go to bed. In case you didn't piece it together, that guy, <laughs> Mac, is the guy that lost money in this video and this video. He's basically lost $1.5 million before, yeah. dollars on the channel in the last two months. Reacted to that That's one. a harsh way to introduce somebody. Even though we upgraded our shelter, the second night of sleep was worse than the first. We didn't know it, but this island was infested with bugs that ended up biting us all throughout the night. Hell and for nah. whatever reason, Chandler I and make I got it the worst of reason. I got no sleep last night. Probably the most miserable thing I've ever done. Look how many bug bites I have on just my hand alone. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. And while we caught up on some much needed sleep, you can probably guess what the boys were gonna do without supervision. Catch chickens. No, let's catch fish. So yesterday, over by uh, that debris on the beach, me and Nolan found a bunch of net. Today, the boys are gonna help me make a chicken trap. The plan is basically to put a giant net right here, tie it to a string up there, and then <laughs> catch a chicken. Let's go. Now, if I was awake to stop them, this never would have happened. But given the fact that I felt like I was literally dying in this moment, the boys were officially going rogue. That is a strong net. Exactly. There we go. Over the next 30 minutes or so, the boys cut the net into a perfect square. They then hoisted the rope up over the tree, tied the rope to all four <laughs> corners, and it was ready. <laughs> that works. That's pretty nice. So after a quick reset and placing some bait, it was time to catch a chicken. What is this? Trap to catch chickens with? Can I see the rope? No, you cannot. Is that what you guys were doing this whole time? Yeah. yeah. I thought you were doing something actually productive. I'll be honest, at first, this seemed like a complete waste of time. Because for the next three hours, they waited and waited. But for some reason, Mac in particular was not ready to give up. And finally, after even more waiting... <laughs> keep it tight, keep it tight, keep it tight! Mac, what is that? Jimmy, I caught it! Oh, this chick is actually pretty chill. Yeah. This is the new Brian in honor of the bird from Raft. You know what? <laughs> with how nice you've been, I'm sure once you put Brian down, it will continue to hang out with us. Put it down. Time to put Brian down. Brian, Brian. no, Brian! What did you do to Brian? I thought he was our friend. Well, I did catch him with a trap, so. And by the time <laughs> Brian had been caught and free, it had gotten significantly less hot Mr. Beast outside, a which honestly like, gave all of us enough energy down, for a spontaneous adventure. Yeah. <laughs> that I am We're about to go do it, Mac. Let's do it. Now I know what you're thinking. Why swim away from a perfectly good island to a rock What's crazy in the middle of the Mr. ocean? Mr. Beast is like my height. He's like 6'5". That's crazy. And honestly, I don't have a good answer for you. This feels really counterintuitive. I think this is a testament to just how bored we are. Yeah, it feels like we're wasting a lot of water and energy. Mac, what are you doing? There are so many fish down there. Really? Yeah. There's a stingray. Look oh my gosh, my fish. favorite fish, bro. Those stingray. waves look really big over there. That's and literally, right that's literally my favorite. Like my favorite sea. We're almost there. And I like eels. <laughs> look at the island over there in the background. And here we are. Woo! It's gotta this. be fun. You got water swim. splashing on both sides. I can't These even swim like that, so I would, do, I would be trying to oh, swim God. in the ocean, oh, this but like, this, this looks so cool. Today. We did it! I don't know why we did it, but we did! How do we get off this? And then how do we get back to our island? Well, the fastest way off is jumping. I'm not jumping. During our last few hours of sunlight, I felt a couple raindrops. We noticed a storm approaching us on the horizon. When we got on the island, the forecast said it wasn't supposed to rain. There's monster clouds over there. We need to prep. Let's go, boys. Come on, guys. They're about to get it. They're about to get it. There's rain coming. Rain on like crazy. Get as many palm leaves That's as you can right now. Taylor, more leaves. And once we ran out of daylight, we huddled up under our new and improved shelter and awaited a night of rain. The worst part about this is the unknown. It's so dark, you can't even see how close the rain is anymore. Turns out we got extremely lucky. The <laughs> storm ended up just missing us by a hair. But what I can say is, later in this video, we won't be so lucky. Dude, it is literally pouring. Let me hold this up. I just want to go home. Good morning, yeah. everybody. 
You can get sick from being you. stuck Good in morning, that kind of everybody. rain, bro. Good morning. You guys got a case of the Mondays? After four days on the island, our morning routine consisted of the following. First, we'd wake up and complain about how bad we slept. Sleeping last night was rough. And then we'd use the bathroom, sometimes together. I'm nervous peeing at the same time as you guys. And then eat, yet again, a bag meal. We're a little tired of our bag meals, so let's just say we've got a solution. All right, this is as far as I go. Have fun. Oh, God. All this for some fish? You have to go very, very far out to actually find fish. The fish aren't going to be in this light blue water. They're going to be in the dark blue water out there. So this is a really good idea, a really bad one. Probably a bad one. The plan was a little dangerous, but simple. Mac is going to act as a human motorboat and drag Sean and Nolan out into the depths of the ocean. And Sean, being the expert survival dad that he is, is going to catch those fish and bring them back to shore for us to eat. You guys got the rope? I also hey, brought around 500 feet of rope that the they're tied to. Eye. So if at any point they need help, <laughs> we'll just yank them in. Right, Chandler? Yeah. Is the rope still good? Yeah, you have plenty of rope. Mac, you doing OK? Huh? Is Mac literally just pulling them? We should just untie the rope, Mac. Cause that's some dead weight. Hope you don't regret it. Now we have no rope, and we're so far away from the beach. There's no way they're not getting seasick out there. Oh, look at that storm. Is that a storm? Boys, we better hurry. That's rain? That's rain. Something tells me this rope snapped somewhere. <laughs> no. Well, you know what we can do? We can start fishing. That would start fishing. Yeah, he's in the water. Guys! Your rope came off! You see any fish down there? I don't see anything. None yet. We have the rope. Hey! Oh, you got something? Yeah, yeah. Oh! Hey! We got a fish! Hold on, hold on to it. Yeah! Oh! We got a fish! Yeah. That's not gonna feed all of them. I mean, After two of fish hours of fishing myself, and 200 fishes yeah. worth of calories burned, all they had to show for it was one fish. Is this fine to eat? Yeah, of course. It literally tastes like fish from a supermarket. I mean, you know where fish in the supermarket come from, right? Where? The ocean. And even though this fish from the ocean was surprisingly good, it was time to eat something a whole lot better. S'mores. 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 First off, you need to burn the bacteria off your stick. Oh, I didn't know that, actually. You seem like you've done s'mores before, Jim. Well, as a man who owns a chocolate company. Oh, <laughs> Mac! Ah! What are you doing? Oh, oh, God. Oh. You take the Feastable chocolate, scrunch it like that while it's still hot. Look at that. Make sure to try out our new Feastables <laughs> bar. People are actually liking it so much, it's sold out in most stores. Don't worry, we're Bro, doing I the best. I actually heard that yesterday, actually. Somebody, one of my friends literally said that uh, Mr. Beast candy bar is being sold out in stores. <laughs> you've never crazy. had a s'more in your life until you've had a s'more with Feastables on it. By clockwork, we lay down to go to bed, and it starts raining. Why is it that whenever we do survival videos, it literally only rains when we're trying to sleep? I'd say that was a very successful day four. Yeah, I agree. You caught a chicken, I caught a fish. Here's the three more days of stupidity. Yeah. That sunrise, though, boy. I just woke up. I have no idea what day it is. Stay up. Five. I was about to say that. <laughs> One of the reasons why we picked this island is there's very old houses or ruins, whatever you want to call it, on this island. And even though they're located on top of a mountain, I say today's the day we explore them. I agree, disagree. Now that we had all agreed to go to the ruins, we wanted to make sure we didn't start this expedition on an empty stomach. And just as we were eating our bag breakfast, Nolan noticed something more appetizing down the beach. Over there on the shoreline. What is it? There's a goat. No way, bro. There's a goat. Mac, you cannot eat. <laughs> Nigga, that you might be that it. might be no? a demon. Oh. Away, <laughs> a goat. random goat Jimmy, on this island too. I would go. not go over there. Get out of here! Yes! Why did you do that? He's our friend! No, he's not, he's food! Oh, uh, once again, Jimmy has scared away my food. And after sparing another animal from Mac, it was time to adventure to the ruins. Alright. Let's do it. We're almost out of water, guys. I need some for the adventure. I'm gonna try to fill these up with coconut water while you're gone. Let's go. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah, keep going. I'll be there in one second. And what they don't know is I actually have a surprise waiting for us at the top of the ruins. It'll make sense in a little bit. That was kind of weird. I just stayed back and talked to the camera. Yeah, kind of like how you lost $1.5 million. Damn. Oh, yeah. Follow me, guys. Jimmy, I believe in you. For a second, I thought this was the mountain. I forgot we haven't even reached the base of the mountain yet. And while we climb this mountain, I'm gonna tell the boys about Western Union. Wherever you are, Western Union makes it easy to send money to friends and family anywhere, even though I was in the US. Look how far away we've come from our beach. Is, it, is that a rainbow? Rainbow right there. Oh yeah. What the heck? 
That's awesome. I'm not gonna be like a Debbie Downer, but that's rain right there. That giant cloud? That giant cloud with rain. Yeah, you're being out. a Debbie Downer. Hey, you can see Sean from here. Dude, he's building the shelter. Sean's making us dinner. Sean! I can see him! Sean! He heard us. Keep going! Wave if you're a nerd! Oh. oh, he's waving. Is it gonna be dark when we go back on this path? Yeah. How are we gonna see? Oh, we'll figure that out later. That's gonna be unfortunate if somebody falls. Oh! Oh! Are you good? <laughs> I'm alive. See this that right over there. Boys, <laughs> come on. Come over here. Welcome to the ruins. Whoa. This is actually sick, dude. Why is there just a yellow box? Yeah, what is this thing? I'm glad you asked. I paid some guys with Western Union $10,000 to move this box up here. Wow. Really? Nolan, there's a crowbar in your backpack. <laughs> What do you think's in here? Pizza? Water. You knew that we were gonna run out of water, so you put extra water in this box. And while we're opening this, there's never been a better time to download or sign up for Western Union. Your first transaction is free. Just go to westernunion.com slash MrBeast. Now, I know I could have filled this crate with extra water and food, but instead, I brought something even better. Matt, does this moment remind you of something? <laughs> oh, this picture of you losing 800 grand? Now, here's a picture of you losing 700 grand. Bro, why? Why go You'll see it one second, don't worry. Now, I didn't do this to make fun of Mac for losing $1.5 million. Really? Because that's exactly what it feels like you're doing. I did this to say, and we're gonna give you another chance in one final video. No shot. But this is your final shot. You're gonna give me a third shot? Your final shot. I got another shot! If you look at the last video we did, every single comment was, bring back Mac, bring back Mac. I hope you win. That's another shot. More important than your shot. <laughs> There's some ruins over here. Let's go look at them. Third shot, baby. I'm not gonna let you guys down again. This building is almost a century old. Imagine building this 100 years ago just for a bunch of YouTubers to explore it. <laughs> Whoa, this is wicked. Why is there a cactus up there? Does the cactus just crawl up there or does someone right, put the that cactus is random up there? The first. cactus does not crawl so up there. So these islands, these islands got a bunch of shit that you would not expect the island to have. Goats, chickens, cactuses, bro, what else? Oh my God. Let's check out on the other side of the crate. There's some more ruins over there. This is crazy, dude. Look how the trees like wrap around the Whoa. freaking rocks. Would the gang say this was worth the effort? Because I got a third chance, yes I would. All right, well, he's biased. Would you two say it was worth it? No. There was no pizza in the box, so no. <laughs> By this time, day five sun was setting on the island. And on our way back to camp, we stopped at the peak of the mountain to take it all in. There's no one I'd rather scale the side of a random mountain with than you guys. Thank Aww. you. Maybe Dwayne The Rock Johnson. That's fair. But outside of that, nobody. Boys, I'm gonna be honest, I'm probably gonna remember this forever. Me too. I think this view made the journey worth it. Camp's cleaned up. It's been reinforced from the rain. Coconut water. Meals ready to go. Got a lot more water. It's getting really dark. I mean, you can't even see into the woods right now. I don't know how they're gonna make it back from the top of that mountain to all these woods in the dark. This is way sketchier at night. Ow. Cactus. Ow! You good? Just a thorn on my side. But little did we know, running into a cactus in the middle of the night was actually the least of our worries. We ended up hitting a dead end, which is a little intimidating in the middle of a forest. Hey, which direction is it? Is it this way or that way? Wait, I can see three different things, dude. There's this right here, and then there's this one right here. This is a path, too. Like, are you I sure, bro? This or is that it? It's definitely not to the left. Follow me, guys. I will pick a random direction. Follow Wait, no, me. no, I, I think it is to the left. Oh, it is? No, right it's right here. over here. Ah, oh, it's raining! And we must have been extra lucky that night because on top of being lost, it started raining. Are you sure this is the right one? Jimmy, it's this way. Which way are we going? I going told you up? we should plow. Wait, Chandler. Follow me. Chandler, how sure are you? I'm 10% sure it's this so way. So wouldn't 90% be better? Are you 90%? Can we choose? It's pouring on the side of a mountain. Go! It's raining! Oh, wait, wait, we're why going don't we way. choose and then unchoose? I don't care. Oh, boys, this is bad. It is getting slick! I really don't think we came up something this steep. <laughs> oh, I almost face planted. And if we couldn't be any more unlucky, on top of it raining yeah, while we're exactly. lost, we've even got a third thing to worry about. Above you is the most dangerous tree on Earth. If it rains, it will seep oh, yeah. poison that will burn your skin. Watch out for the death apple sap, because it just rained. What are we supposed to do? Not let the poison drip on you. Oh, oh that is 10,000% a death apple tree, boys. That means we're close. And regardless of if That's we took crazy. the right I path or not, we pain. could tell we were getting close to camp. That's sand. That's oh. some sand. Thank God. We made it. <laughs> camp is right there. We have a rare opportunity to scare Sean. Are we going to take advantage of that? Yes. Of course. OK. I would have been in that bed. Whoop, 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 whoop. They're making noises and shit. Oh, God. Oh, my God. You scared me. We made it. Yeah, we're back. I mean, you guys <laughs> did it coconut on. water. Oh, I appreciate it. <laughs> Cheers, boys. Wow, it tastes like a coconut. <laughs> After the hike, we ate, we showered, and when we dried off, we took a second to look up at the stars. 
because <laughs> when you're in the middle of the ocean, it really feels like you're on another planet. Yeah. But unexpectedly, around the corner was something we'd been fearing this entire challenge. You feel that? Guys, bad news. There's a ton of water on the top of our shelter. I just don't know if that's gonna be safe for us to be under it. Despite our efforts from earlier to make the shelter better, water was beginning to pull up on our roof from the storm. All this water on top of us. Is there a world that could bring our structure down? And even though all we wanted at this point was a night of sleep, we had to get up and deal with it. Uh, oh my God. We are absolutely screwed. I'm just getting destroyed and pummeled by rain all night. And after two hours of rain, a damaged shelter and soaking wet beds. There was no chance any of us were gonna sleep that night. It raining on you at night. The worst experience you can have on these challenges. I'm so tired. Hopefully it just passes over. And even though this was an all-time low, our only option was to wait this thing out. I'm not gonna lie, the rain last night was pretty brutal. Just, I don't know if I've ever been that cold. soaking bed is insane. Uh, ever. What do you want to do today, Nolan? I don't know. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. I just can't wait to get out of here. This place sucks a lot, I'm not gonna lie. I'm sick and I'm, I'm tired and I wanna go home. At this point, the island was making us miserable. This is quickly turning into a little bit of a nightmare. And after six days of physical struggle, our mental health was beginning to suffer as well. There's only so much bagged food you can drink and hours you can lay in the sun before you start to just feel terrible. And I'm starting to feel terrible. I have a headache. I am very tired. It was clear that we were going to have to take drastic measures if we were going to complete this challenge. Looking for a peach cobbler. Wanna look for a peach cobbler? Oh, I found one. So, in an effort to turn things around, we treated ourselves to canned cobbler for breakfast. Pretty good. Not bad. Yeah. For a can. And with the help of this unorthodox breakfast, oh, no, no, we were beginning to return back to normal. Oh, yeah. Is it good like that? Dude, you hit straight to the tree. <laughs> and it became clear how exactly we were going to survive day six yeah. by having fun with each other. <laughs> it's so awesome. And I began to realize oh. <laughs> even though we've all done a lot of suffering, why'd we pick the heaviest seat in existence? This whole trip has been filled with a lot of fun. <laughs> Cheers, boys. And adventure. We did it! <laughs> Moments like these are hard to find. And when I look back on this challenge, we probably won't remember the bad times yeah, as much fire, as we bro. will the good. It's kind of cool. And with day six of our challenge finally coming to an end, we're celebrating our final night with a massive fire. But it's kind of burning us all. Yeah, I'm getting that. It's a little too big. When we wake up tomorrow, the challenge will be over. And as the sun rose on day seven, go, oh, get me out of here. We broke down camp and cleaned up with one thing in mind: leaving this place and never coming back. And before we leave, I just want to take the time to say thank you all for watching. All of you are the only reason videos like this exist, and I really hope you all enjoyed it. Fire content as always, man, with Mr. Beast surviving on an island for seven days. I mean, it would be very fun. It, that would be a, a crazy experience, but what, to eat what they had to eat, I don't know. I don't know. I probably would have been trying to eat fish every day, to be honest. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. And if y'all would like me to react to old Mr. Beast videos as he continues to drop new ones, I can do that as well. I'm pretty much think I'm going to anyway, so but I still would like your guys' opinion. Before I get up out of here, if you guys like to follow me on my gaming channel, I am posting a video over there later on tonight. I would greatly appreciate the support. The link for that is in the description down below. Love y'all, and that does it for this one. I will see you guys in the next one, baby. We are out. Peace.